Greetings gamers and welcome to my 2023 bank video. So this has been a long time coming. Every year I like to make a bank video and go over my entire account. Now this time I'm going to jump straight into it and right off the rip, I shouldn't have leaked that tile. <laughs> right off the rip you can see 13 bill bank. Now I'm going to go over the bank. I'm going to go over my collection log. I'm going to go over some goals, my current goals that I'm working on. Also, the my skilling, my clue ranks, PVMing, you know, experience pets, and so on, and then also talk about my resolutions for 2024. So right off the start, you can see my rune stack is pretty freaking crazy. Now, I just want to start off and preface this that uh, you might see a lot of spoilers. So if spoilers are not your thing, maybe you can click off. But honestly, like. I don't think it's a big deal because the items that I get, you can always just see it yourself on the collection log website. And also I delayed this by two months. So I actually recorded this in November and I'm uploading it in December. So that way you should not see as much spoilers as expected, but there are a few quite big spoilers in the next tabs that you'll end up seeing. But as I mentioned earlier, don't worry about it. You'll, uh, you'll just be able to, um, you know, just to be able to get the CD reaction. So, uh, white stack of runes. I'm actually going to empty these runes too. I just realized we have some runes here. So a white stack of law runes. I made a million of each elemental rune because um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to explain that. I just kind of felt like it. <laughs> 170,000 cosmics, uh, half a million mine runes. That's all from barrels, by the way. I have a million stack of chaos runes. I um, bought them from the shop. Half a million death runes, which I didn't even craft any. Those are just from PVMing, which is crazy. Half a million blood runes, which is going to get blown on the scythe, but I'm not sure what exactly I'll scythe. <laughs> uh, 100,000 reference. I created a reference because, like, the Scar S in mine works for reference. So I was like, eh, why not? I'll make a white stack of them, even though I'm never going to use them. And uh, 160k natures, th almost 300,000 astrals. I made enough astrals for 2k CMs and Venges, and then I, like, tripled it. So yeah, 600,000 soul runes, which these are going to get used up 100%. Like I shadow everything. Just shadow so broken. White stack of these. And I also made half a million body runes. Uh, I, I wanted to make 100,000, but I made a math error. Which honestly, like, I'm, I'm kind of shit to be make that error. But whatever. I was like, I'm committed. I'll make half a million body runes. Good chunk of food as well. 220,000 mantas. That's actually kind of crazy. I have 2,500 glories that I made a while back when I was bored. Max Cape, Black Graceful, two Eternal Rings. I'm not sure what exactly to show here. These are just like random stuff now, like Battle Staff, Staff, uh, Stams. I got a Crystal Pickaxe. If we look here, we can see we have, I guess, Ring of Endurance and a bunch of random stuff. White Stack of Lizard and Fangs is kind of cool. Half, half uh, 50,000 Dynamite. I dropped Saltpeter at the start, so I kind of, I could have had more. But now let's go to the herb tab, which is probably my favorite tab, and like that's not gear related. Like this is crazy, the amount of herbs I have and the amount of potions. Like I have like what is that fourteen thousand snake dragons, snap dragons I can make into super restores, and I still have like all eighteen thousand restores, fifteen thousand, almost sixteen thousand brews, and uh, yeah, pretty nutty supplies. Look at these limp roots. I have thirty thousand limp roots. Like what the hell? What the hell? This, this is all from Callisto, by the way, <laughs> which I'll show that later. And uh, I got a lot of snake grass. I did a lot of uh, herb runs, I guess. 14,000 torsos. Man, Toa is just broken, dude, which I'll talk about that too later. Damn, what the hell? 16,000 vials of blood. How much is that worth? It's not, it's not showing. 300 mil. <laughs> okay, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> vials of blood are expensive. Uh, a decent amount of like basic foods, I guess. Like these are used for like pre-potting. This I just collect them from Callisto, and that's from Clues, I think, which is kind of nuts. Uh, super restores, and yeah, I mean, white stack of Terramintar. Don't ask why. Dude. I also been collecting Gorak claws. They're literally unnotable. So like, if I wanted to like remove them from my bank, I'd have to like destroy them. But I don't know why I collect those. I just I just collect it, I guess. So here is like my, I guess you can say my farming tab. We got the snake grass, volcanic ash, a couple bird nests, which I'm lazy to open, by the way. 
a lot of coconuts that's cool but the seeds we have 2000 12 flags 3500 rainar seeds what the hell and i'm planting the snapdragons right now i stopped planting torsos because I, like i had I have so many like what's the point <laughs> i also collect super compos because i don't know man just why not maybe one day it'll be useful here is like my i don't even know what tab like this is like i guess random stuff we got our nova c and shambles items here uh, these are for the uh juggling master clues for the dragon's castle step a lot of room crossbows which i use for anti king but damn man, it's actually a lot a lot of lava dragons which this year we did the venom bug at lava dragons which was really fun and uh clue items beginner clue items and peaking that's for um that's for like vedion and and the uh, spindle off tasks and damn i have slayer rings too i should probably eat those i don't think they're really useful we got recoils what the, i should probably add that to my yeah pyramid tops i collect one every time i get the hard step and i just bank it because why not you know it's cool and yeah this is from forest tree i went pretty dry 7300 feathers so i made some like peasant hats pheasant pheasant's hat and i use that for like trolling and callisto and wilty and when i'm ragging or anti peaking so yeah a lot of ring of ralph wells as well which are useful for me so now this tab here is my clogger tab which i have to warn you there is a lot of spoilers in here so i'm just gonna click it and oh bro it's beautiful we have both dusts at the top at the top pet the toa pet i'm missing the chambers pet unfortunately so i don't have that some extra kits from harmful tob my extra kits from cms and then this is a spoiler by the way sorry but third age play legs that i got which oh man i never thought i would ever own a piece of third age and i, I do now which is kind of cool ring of third age i got both ring of nature and ring of coins and the bucket helm g which are these this is an elite mega rare item and these are master mega rare items so those are like really really rare items a lot of gilded gilded spade four van braces <laughs> which is kind of funny <laughs> Two chaps, full helm, axe, boots, all these 11,000 sweets, which, damn, that's 100 mil, dude. Wow. I got one Anku piece, one mummy piece. Fun fact, I actually got this mummy piece, like, on my first couple of masters when I wasn't even a clogger. And I didn't even know what they were. I just chucked them in a POH. And I was browsing my clog, and I saw them, and I was like, what the hell? I have mummy piece? <laughs> and I went to my POH, and I saw them in there, and I was like bro i didn't know how rare they were when i got them back in the day so that's cool it's on the collection log which is nice too uh these stone gloves i got one pair and over a thousand keys which is unfortunate but it is what it is five tuxedo unique pieces but seven in total which is really really cool full evil chicken full dak and i dragon form two out of five duck dust mystics i got the fish sack this year which is pretty cool got a lot of items this year actually Three stale baguettes, which I still do the events for the memes, but honestly, I should probably stop because I'm pissing off a lot of people with these, but whatever, I'll still do them. My musketeer hat, which I love this item, by the way. It's like, um, it's iconic to me. I used to do four sixteens with this item doing tobs back in the day. So it's such a cool looking fashion scape item. I love it. Some more clock stuff. My pages, which I've collected them because why not? Same thing with the fire lighters and the teleport scrolls. Now these are my extra clue caskets. So I only open them on specific milestones. I have 84 elites, so 16 more and I do an opening. And then the hards, mediums, easy, these are all passive through like skilling and whatever. And I still do my beginners, even though I'm green log, which is another spoiler. Uh, I don't know why I do them. They're kind of just, I don't know, man. I just kind of do them. I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, awaken orbs i've been collecting those i'm trying to go for blood torva which i'll talk about later as well one ingot i got three out of four quarks i'm missing one for the collection log i got the eye of the duke and yeah a bunch of other random stuff this is my master step that i used to juggle it's not the best one but it's still like pretty good so i've kind of kept it but i'm hoping to get a better one eventually but i do lose them which kind of sucks now my stilling tab, which is pretty juicy. So you can see a lot of supplies here, white stacks, a lot of gold ore, a lot of mithril. I 
process my rune to make money to buy the runes. Uh, that's going to be in a future video as well. So that is a spoiler. And a lot of logs, just been collecting them. Stacking on redwoods though. A lot of planks too, which is 50,000 oak planks? What the? How? Is that from Calvarion? I have 30,000 oak planks in my Calvarion loot tracker? What the hell, dude? Okay, that's kind of crazy. I didn't think I had that many oak planks. Wow. Well, that's going to get collected. <laughs> You're on crack if you think I'm going to do construction. <laughs> Got raw monkfish. My uh, raw bombs and I'm passively cooking whenever I want AFK. All the gems. I haven't cut a gem in a long time. I've been stacking them from chambers. And I probably intend to keep stacking them from chambers until I get 2 TK. Just to see what they look like. It'll be cool to get a white stack of them, maybe. I don't know. Wow, that's a lot of dragon stones. I can make 5,000 more glories. <laughs> Honestly, I might do it for the memes one day. Because that's kind of that's kind of cool. Uh, these are from gem mining when I went for 1,000 um, slaughter bracelets. A lot of dehyde, which I I wanted to process. But honestly, like this takes a long time to process, and I really can't be asked. So a couple chins, which I hate chins. So these are probably all I'm going to have for the rest of my account, unless I hunt the pet one day. 10,000 unfinished? What the? Bro, I need to start processing some shit. <laughs> so lazy. Oh my god, 10,000 dragon bolts. That's crazy. I have um, 5,000 dragon arrow tips, 40,000 amethyst, and 40,000 dragon dart tips, which I'm kind of just hoarding them. I'm going for a white stack of amethyst darts right now, and uh, that's my AFK activity. A lot of stardust. The star blade is pretty cool. You get passive clues, and it's pretty AFK. Uh, so I do do it to AFK here and there uh, when I don't feel like doing amethyst or if I'm editing a video. Soft clay, which I guess I could buy more soft clay with it because may as well. A lot of buckets of sand, burp, MVP gave me 86 a day or whatever it is. Uh, a lot of grapes. What the? Dude, I have so many crazy supplies. I don't even notice. <laughs> 3,000 volcanic mine teleports. When I got 99 mining, that was like back in the day. I Instead of buying rune ore, I bought teleports because Heffy got pissed off when I told him I would do that. So I did it. And then they released a broken dragon pickaxe. And I was like, well, shit, that's 600,000 points right there. <laughs> But it's fine, we use one per clue scroll, so it's kind of worth uh, every time I get the elite clue step. But whatever, we got the pickaxe in the end, so it doesn't matter. Uh, other random stuff. I put my kingdom on raw fish. I kind of feel like getting 100,000 raw tuna. So I've been collecting that. I guess that's the perks of finishing evil chicken. You don't give a shit about kingdom anymore, so I just kind of put it in random stuff. So the next tab here is my, I guess it's like my loot ammunition random shit collectibles tab so we got all the dragon items which it used to have a lot more but i ended up alking a lot of it when i went for the uh, one bill gp so it's uh, it's pretty bad now i had like almost a thousand dragon meds and uh, it was cool i should have kept it honestly but whatever like i alked it for uh, to save time and i mean it's you it's meant to be alked anyways those items but i'm gonna keep collecting now same thing on my rune items i alked most of it 200,000 iron, 168,000 mithril, a lot of adamant, white stack. I had a white stack of amethyst, but I lost it. 25,000 dragon arrows, which is kind of cool. Look at these darts, dude. I was so weird when I was a noob, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even know how to explain that. I just kind of, I don't know, man. I thought it would be cool to make dart tips, and it would be AFK and good fletching XP. That's in my blowpipe. I'm low on dragon darts, but you saw the tips, so you're not too worried. A lot of onyx bolts, which I can't be ass alking, dude. They take so long to alk. Uh, yeah, I have three totems. Interesting. Uh, I collect the boots, too, for the memes. And all the heads as well that I collect, too. A lot of granite items. That was for hunting the Visi, which I got this year, which was cool. And more random stuff. 14 dust battle staffs. Interesting. The warp scepter that I got this year as well, which is a spoiler, by the way. Or actually, no, I sh that video should have released right before. So I don't think it's a spoiler, but whatever. Uh, damn, I'm collecting Onyx Bolt tips pretty quick. Running low on ether, but I have a 500 bracelets to break down, which I'll probably do eventually. Uh, a lot of bones I've been collecting. And yeah, char 1,000 shards, not bad, dude. 
Okay, other random stuff. Rings on my barrel set, which I have one stored in the in the stash, which is I guess it's Torag, right? Yeah, Torag is stashed in the stash unit of barrels. So that's one bank space I save. And I don't have any dupes. I dropped all my dupes over because I don't really care. Uh, three ballista springs, freaking three light frame. I'm missing the heavy frame from Demonics. I got Ring of the Gods. I got Treasonous. And I'm still missing the freaking Callisto ring, dude. Like, oh, my. I'm going to show that later. It's crazy. I'm how unlucky I am there. But whatever, it's funny. We embrace the meme. The Wildy Shields, some Grotesque Guardian Uniques, some random excessive stuff that I just kind of chucked in. Like, a lot of cannonballs, surprisingly enough. Like, I don't make them. I kind of just collect them. But I think one day I might make them for Konar because they do look kind of nice to use them with Konar. The 12 Fangs of Venonatus. What the hell? And I have two on my... On my um, crossbow which is a duke crossbow here uh, i kept a duke duke crossbow in case i get like smited because you, you use them scald in the wildy and one extra armor seed all right so the gear tab this is the juicy one so uh, we got full missouri full ancestral we're still a bandos billy bob which is a part of my plans to in the future which i'll discuss later but we embrace the bandos lifestyle it's fine uh, one in piece, we got the Magnus Ring, which is a spoiler from Duke. Got the Shadow this year, which is really cool. We got the Venator Bow, which is a spoiler as well. That's really cool as two. Uh, I guess we got the ZCB this year. We got the Zuck Helm at the start of the year, which is really cool. Uh, we finished it Rev Weapons with the upgrades. And I mean, am I like going too fast here? Like, I don't know what else to talk about. Just like most of it i've had it before but i guess you can look a lot of ice sacks god damn dude i've been collecting those i guess two out of three virtus i'm missing the top that is a spoiler as well got pretty lucky so far dt2 no complaints and i kept a dupe of these for fun and then here is like my i guess it's like my dupe process drop do something with it tab so we have a dupe Slayer Helm that I turned into Zuck Helm. Because if I ever lose my Zuck Helm, I want to see it here, you know. A lot of dupe Missouri, dupe Scrolls, dupe Fang, dupe, dupe Shadow, just casually chilling here. <laughs> inflating my bank value. Uh, a couple of Void Raker pieces. And uh, yeah, that's the bank. So 13 bill. Pretty neat. I'm going to scroll once again really quickly. And yeah, pretty juicy bank. Definitely went up quite a bit compared to the last video. I think the last bank video was, was it seven bill or eight bill? So I didn't go up a lot, but I do have two shadows in the bank, so that doesn't inflate it. Uh, I do plan to drop my dupes uh, relatively soon. So it should drop down a little bit. And I do have to organize my gear tab a little bit as well. I'm getting like new items. I'm kind of just like fitting them in there, but you can see like I have to make space for other items too. But um, yeah, so that's the bank. Now let's go over the collection log, I guess. So I'm gonna clear this, so it doesn't look ugly. So 1322 slots, currently rank 15, but I don't know if I'll be able to hold like a high rank for a long period of time. Like I am losing ranks gradually over time. It's just hard to compete. I don't play as much as I used to. And uh, I kind of just do grinds that are not necessarily efficient to do for me. like going for like 2k capes or some really hard pvm sections but that's just what i enjoy so yeah i mean we can look at hydra we're missing two items we're missing two items from here too finished barrels at the start of the year finished barrel a long time ago we're still missing the callisto ring we're 19,000 callisto by the way this ring just doesn't exist dude i'm telling you maybe i'm bugged but whatever it's copium we had serp finished in the past same thing with these ones we got the armor crossbow this year, which is really cool. We haven't touched Corp this year at all. DKs, we're missing Prime Pet. Duke, we Omega Spooned it. <laughs> we're only missing the pet. <laughs> so I left. Jad Pet, we need the Enhanced. Bandos Pet, Giant Mole's already done. This was already done in the past. This is green. Inferno, we did a lot of Inferno this year. Still no pet. We finished KQ this year, which is cool with the pet. We had these green logs in the past. Haven't done much Armbo. Haven't done much Sammy. Levy, I haven't done that many. I'm kind of putting it aside. Oh, sorry. 
Next, we got the hilt and the hilt, the horn, and the vambraces this year. Uh, I do have plans to go back here, by the way, but uh, I'm gonna discuss that later. Nightmare, we got the parasitic egg, which is a spoiler, by the way. Uh, I put it on my pet. Obor, that was already done. Muspa, we finished bow. Pretty unlucky. We finished Seracnus this year, which is cool. We had this already green log. We got the char. We're only missing the dark totem. Temporos, I haven't done much of it. I don't know why I don't really enjoy Temporos. We had this much, this one green. Not much to talk about here. We're missing the pet at Spindle, which is kind of unlucky. And we're very dry at Calvarion for the pet as well. Uh, I, these are, I added around 900 solos and the rest are duos. So you can assume that's around a thousand solos and equivalents. So I'm definitely dry on this pet, like probably almost two times the rate. Board calf, not much to say there. Whisper, that's what I'm working on right now. Trying to do 50 a day. Winter Todd, that's already green. This volcano, I haven't done much. Zora, I haven't done much. Raid section. So this is a spoiler. You can tell right away. So chambers, still missing the pet and the capes. Uh, I kind of been doing it passively here and there. I think I'm going to try to do like maybe like seven to 10 a week, which isn't a lot, but it's something to just chip at slowly. And if I ever feel motivated, I'll full send it. But for now, it's just something I do like on weekends. I do like one or two here and there. Tob, I green logged it last year. Pretty neat, pretty cool log. And Toa, we green logged it this year. Uh, 500 regulars and 1500 experts. Pretty, pretty cool log, honestly, like really sick. Really happy about this. And uh, probably one of my most insane goals of the year. I talked that I was averaging five raids a day since Toa release which is kind of crazy is that does that seem right five yeah it sounds about right actually because it was like around 440 days or something so maybe like a little less than five but still you get the point i went pretty hard on this uh, i think i did a week where i did like over 100 and i did days where i, I think my record was 31 toas in a day which i had to take a seven day va vacation from toa <laughs> after that because it was brutal Clues, we finished Beginners this year, we got the Zami Ornament Kit, which, fuck, man, that was brutal. And I still do them for fun, as you saw in the bank. Easies, we finished the Capes this year, which is cool. And uh, missing quite a few items, we're missing both Monkrokes, mostly. Uh, just chipping at that slowly. Mediums, I've been kind of slacking. I don't really enjoy mediums, I don't like Pyro Pyro, so I've kind of just put it aside for now. And if I ever feel like I need to rush slots quickly, I can maybe do a bit of mediums, but otherwise I'm just not going to touch it. Hards, doing passively. Uh, two shields, no play body heraldic, which is unfortunate. Elites, oh, mega lucky. Like, there's nothing I can say about elites. I'm just spooned. Missing one regular item, which, fun fact, I'm actually overrate for, so I guess I can complain about that. <laughs> five tuxedo pieces, uh, seven in total, but five uniques, which is insane. And masters, I mean, not much to see, I guess. For the hard mega rares, we have the Ring of Nature, which is a spoiler. Both of these and one third HP, which is cool. For mini games, a lot of it is green. We're missing the BA pet. We're missing two dies, the pet, Lost Bag, Guardian Eye, and we're missing the two caves from LMS. Everything else is greened. I green logged Foundry this year. Green logged. I think I had that one green logged before, actually. Green logged MTA. Green logged. Is that it? Shit. I guess I green logged VM. Damn. I didn't do much uh, mini games this year. But when I started clogging, I did a lot of mini games. So that's why. But I did a lot of progress here. A lot of green. <laughs> I am 27 pets, which I was going to show you in the POH, but I realized I can just show you here instead because it's actually like right there. But uh, yeah, a good amount of pets. I, I haven't been getting lucky on pets recently, which was unfortunate. I'm hoping my luck turns around. Finished Arrow Fishing this year. Finished uh, Forest Tree this year as well. Went giga dry on this stupid... Uh... Oh, this tracks in the clock. <laughs> okay, that means I'm making 100 of each. I don't care. That's funny. That's good to know, actually. <laughs> okay, sorry. That's just a side note for myself. Uh, I'm missing the Heavy Frame from the Monix, which is something I like to finish eventually. We also finished Revenants this year which is freaking crazy. That's a good achievement. And finished Azars. In Slayer, we're missing three 
Mist Dust Mystic pieces. And for Miscellanea, got Evil Chicken done. We're missing four D Stone pieces and then three uniques here. So quite a few, but I'm chipping at that slowly as well. So in terms of my goals, so right now I have like kind of like one main goal and I have like a few side goals that I do on the side. So my main goal is actually to do DT2 bosses. Uh, I want to get all DT2 bosses done except for the pets. Or if I get the pet, that's good. But if I don't get the pet, it doesn't matter. So that includes the full um, the full axe. Or the, the Soul Reaper axe? No, wait. Is that Soul Reaper axe? All four rings and full Virtus. Uh, right now I have Duke done, Giga Spoons. I'm working on Leviathan, not Leviathan, sorry. I'm working on Whisper right now. Uh, I'm kind of far from it. I'm missing, uh, I guess I'm missing three items. Uh, once I get the Vestige, the Axe Piece, and the Quarks, I'll move over to Vardorvis. And then once I get the Axe Piece and the Vestige, I'll move, or, move over to Leviathan to finish it off. Once I have that done, I want to do also the Blood Torba kit. So I want to do all four Awakened versions with the orbs that I have stacked. Then I also want to do the CAs, the combat achievements that come with um, DT2 bosses, which should be released relatively soon. Uh, Jagex said they didn't have any time to work on it because of leagues and all the other stuff to do. So it's been postponed for a while, but I like to redo those. I don't think they're going to be super hard, but at the same time, they might be quite difficult. So I have to be prepared for it. And um, yeah, that's my main goal. Once I have that done, I'm going to go over to next and try to finish full Torva. Once I get full Torva, I'm going to do like a random side stuff where I'm going to grind Zora to get like a good, good chunk of Zora scales. And then I'm going to Turial skip Neve for Jad and Zuck pet. Because I feel like those pets are relatively easy in comparison to other pets on here. And that's like a green log that I can just bang out. And it's a pretty cool pet too, like especially Inferno pet. Jad is just going to be like something I do if I want to chill. And so I'm going to do those, uh, get those two pets and also do Demonics because I'd like to get this green log too. It'll be cool having like, uh, you know, like I can go here and have a full green log everywhere, you know, like the whole, I don't know, man, I'm freaking weird, I guess. But I can have like a whole column or of a green log, which would be cool. Cool to flex, you know. Uh, so then afterwards, I'm going to move over to Konar Slayer and try to finish Dust Mystic. So that's the plan for 2024, which honestly, like, that might take quite a while. Like, it might take me like nine months or something. And there's new content coming out. Uh, I'm going to try to do content on release more often because it is more fun. But uh, we'll see. On the side, I'm working on on the CMs and Callisto. So whenever there's a Callisto team, I, I send Callisto masses for elite clues. And whenever there's people that want to see them on weekends, I just see them because it's fun. Then in terms of on the side as well, I have like a quota that I set myself. So every day I try to do at least 50 Whisperer. And that's like at least like some days I get home from work and I only have like two hours to play. So I definitely can't get 50. So then I do as much as I can until I go to bed. But the rule is every day, once I had 50 Whisperer KC, I either keep going if I feel like it or I can stop and do anything else for the rest of the day, whatever I feel like doing. And right now, whatever I feel like doing is wieldy bossing. So I'm working on Vedion, trying to get that pet. And once I get the Vedion pet, I'll move over to Spindle. Once I get the Spindle pet, I'll move over to Eternal Glory grind. And once I get Eternal Glory, I'll consider wieldy done. I'm fully ignoring Callisto, because the way I see Callisto, I'm just going to get it passively, so I don't really care. If I go Omega draw on the ring, it is what it is. I don't care. I'll just keep doing masses. It's kind of fun. So that is in terms of the goals. For like Omega AFK, I do Amethyst right now. Uh, I'm trying to get the Mining Pet. Once I get the Mining Pet, I'll have to find something else to AFK. Uh, I'm currently mining Amethyst until I get to 100,000 arrow uh, dart tips. Then I'll probably mine 100,000 arrow tips. And if I still don't have the pet, I might switch over to like stars maybe. Or I might just do VM. I'm not sure. I feel like I should just stick to AFK. Uh, stars would be cool too to get the pet. I'll have to talk to see if it's actually worth it. It might not be, but uh, we'll see. 
and uh, yeah, that, that's that's basically it for uh, the clog. Uh, so in terms of my XP, I'm 1.3 bill XP right now. I got 200 mil hit points this year, which is cool. And I'm pretty close to the 200 mil range. I should get it in a couple months. Uh, maybe whenever I get to like CMing and more uh, Leviathan, I can get it faster. But for now, I don't range often. So 112 mil attack, 20 mil mining, 20 mil smithing. It's such a weird flex. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm super close to level 100 agility. I should probably get that soon. Just to make everything 100 plus. Uh, 23 mil thieving. That's pretty good. 42 mil cooking, 25 mil fire making, 25 mil crafting, 33 mil prayer. Damn. 75 mil mage, 21 mil fletching, almost 20 mil wood cutting from forestry. 86 mil farming. I like doing farming, so I do my farming, my herb runs and tree runs here and there. Almost 50 mil slayer, 17 mil runecrafting, 14 mil con, and 24 mil hunter. Uh, in terms of my clues completed, I should have probably discussed that. I have 1100 beginners, 1600 medi easies, 800 mediums, 1300 hards, 1200 elites, which by the way puts me at clues rank 5, I believe. Yeah, that puts me at rank 5 currently, which is really cool. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get rank 1 unless I, like, commit to, like, Callisto. Uh, I think rank 1 is saved me. What's his current kill count? What is his current clues, actually? Hmm. He's at 1,600 leads, so I'm, I'm still quite far off from him. Uh, that's probably, like, two months if I full send and need it, but I don't think I'll be, be able to do that, so I'm still far away from him. And... Uh, 369 masters, so pretty decent. Now, in terms of a new real life, I feel like I should touch on this too, like in terms of my resolution. Uh, I think the goal for me for 2024 is going to the gym four times a week and forcing myself to maintain that. Like some days I will straight up just skip the gym, which happens, like I'm just not feeling it. And I feel like in those days, instead I should just force myself to go anyways and do like a half workout instead of doing nothing. Uh, also, I want to enjoy content creation more. Uh, I'm and having a lot of fun with the series. Um, editing videos kind of grow on me. I'm starting to enjoy it. And I also want to do more side series. I tried the uh, unranked or unofficial group Iron Man series. It was fun, but it didn't really work out too well. So maybe I'll try something else that's more my style. And also, I like to play less hours. Now, one thing about playing less hours, which uh, I, I should probably try to learn, is... It's fine if you play less hours, but if you play less hours and you're more efficient while you're online, that's a way bigger impact than just playing more and being semi-efficient. Like I was watching, for instance, Marnie playing, and that guy is like permanently efficient whenever he's online. Like if you watch him stream and he loses one tick, that's insane. Like you have to take a screenshot. And I feel like that's something you, I should try to learn because if I can play more efficiently, I can probably play less and still get decent progress going which would be the goal long term and uh, yeah that's about it like i mean i don't have much more to say 30 minutes a pretty quick overview if i forget anything i guess i can talk about it later quest cape diary cape zakhelm as you know and uh yeah i mean that's it i guess um i'm gonna go do some uh, whisper now <laughs> So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and peace out.